In this video I'm going to show you how I do a self-watering wicking bed. This is going to be uh, basically a cure to fix my tomato blight. What I've got is the ingredients. I've got like, some rock, uh, basically 20 mil gravel, some sand, uh, multi-purpose concrete compost say. Uh, some uh, weed fabric and 20 maybe a two inch diameter pipe so what we're going to do is firstly put in the um, gravel in to a certain height and then cover it with some sand put some fabric over it and uh, the last layer will be the multipurpose multi-purpose compost all that in along with the um, two inch pipe so it'll act as a watering hole and an overflow hole somewhere around here so I can um, make sure that it's level with the water other things to consider is maybe covering the sides because this is quite well basically it lets light loot in so I'm thinking of putting in some sort of thin line or whatever just to make sure this uh, uh, side is totally blocking the uh, the light so algae can't form at the bottom of the reservoir right I put them in my gravel and I put in the tube uh, so basically you've got the watering tube going in and the gravel up to a certain height I think about about that height and I'm just going to put in some sand maybe two inches and then uh, the fabric so it doesn't mix in when I put in the uh, sand hopefully it's all going to work out well but I might put in a layer of fabric here so it doesn't intermingle with the uh, gravel anyway let's carry on okay I've just uh, put in some uh, weed fabric over the uh, gravel and hopefully I'm just going to put a bit of sand in here maybe about two inches in height so I'll just pack that down and hopefully it doesn't mix in with the gravel uh, the next stage is me putting some weed fabric over the sand as you can see I haven't finished that so We've got a layer of sand over the gravel with a layer of weed fabric. Stick that in there. Hopefully that should be enough. And then I'll put the compost in there. I've also cut this pipe so this pipe should be uh, your watering. You need to drill a hole just above uh, the sand so I can tell if there's any water coming out. Uh, other than that, fill out all with compost and this should be ready for a for growing. I've got some Epsom salts or magnum magnesium sulfate in there so I've got a few handfuls and just spread it around and that's about halfway uh, to the top. I've got um, about two inches until the top is full but uh, yeah I think that's all done now. All I have to do is just uh, fill that reservoir up to this point with uh, the fill hole here hopefully this will be good enough as a self wicking bed right get some overflow now hopefully uh, that means that there's enough water coming out up to this level at least so yeah I can stop there and hopefully uh, dampen this area so it'll be enough uh, for it to wick up but otherwise yeah this is a uh, this is almost done okay this is the last stage I've just planted my tomatoes they're not looking really great in fact they're almost dying so what I've done is just put them in here and uh, this area is going to be all dry so all the water will be sucking up in in the uh, reservoir at the bottom there so I've got my uh, honeycomb 
tomato and gardener's delight and uh, they're looking a quite sad at the moment so I'm just going to soak this uh, area and hopefully I don't need to water this bit here anymore but yeah uh, tomato blight has ruined these plants hopefully uh, they can still grow uh, but I'm using this alternative method to avoid having mold and fungus coming up here ruining these I'm just putting the uh, last bit of water on the top side, hopefully. Uh, not enough, just a little bit just to wet the appetite, get the roots to growing downwards, hopefully, uh, to revive the tomato plants and the aubergine plants here. So yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, we'll check back later. Hopefully uh, I don't need to water these unless I go through the watering hole with that pipe. Uh, but I'll check in a few weeks. Right, weeks later and you can see that this system now, so these plants are looking much more healthy. As you can see there's like some leaves growing out here. Uh, it's taken a long while but the tomato plants seem to be working okay. This area is completely dry. Even the aubergine looks more healthier. Greener leaves and even what seems to be a tomato coming out. And even the um, honeycomb is growing slightly better. A long while, but, um, yeah, seems to be working. I hope this video helps you with your gardening problems. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you again. Goodbye.